Yeah, well, that certainly looks better than it did this morning. Yeah. So it looked like there was like a bloody 30 mil difference in the in the lintel, but. Uh, you can take a look at the damage properly now. Look at the state of that. Happy 2nd of Feb, 5 past 8. Give you a quick look in here. That is a van full. And all that is just to do one lintel on a house. So we've got the trestles, not trestles, yeah, we've got a trestle, got a scaffold, one trestle, yeah. got a ladder, acros, strong boys, insulation, sand and cement, cavity tray, vents, weep holes, black dye, dust sheet, hand tools, mixer, uh, radio. So, yeah, all this just to do one lintel. So um, the actual lintel takes probably about a third of the day, the rest of it's setting up and packing up. So we'll set up somewhere uh, over there and we'll, um, we'll get this lot on the house. Boom! We're now done. Uh, you're going to see a lot more of this stuff now because um, Ferro's has done away with the branded bags so they can bring the price down, which is all good. We're not bothered about the bags being branded. We're bothered about it being cheaper. So that's good. Yeah, so all that is now over there. And we're just going to start setting the scaffold up now. That's the first thing to do. And then once we've got the scaffold set up, we start getting acros in position and start knocking hell out. Right, let's get it done. Yeah, just two up there and one's going to go here because they're a bit over the roof so one's going to go straight off the roof and we're going to stack the two here that's why I've got four strong boys one, two, three no, three, four strong boys, three acros we don't need four strong boys but let's get up there and have a look there you go, concrete roof those are on these old uh, 1950s capsule houses, absolutely solidly built. Okay, the, very sheltered. This is the record. It's down there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you can take a look at the damage properly now. Look at the state of that. Look at that. I was trying to jump out. That whole bloody side has been lifted. And yeah, the actual lintel that's exposed to the weather where the paint is. You can see it's lifted a bit, but it's not gone as bad as the ends. No. Obviously, it stays wet in the end. Yeah. All that, you got a big crack going up there, so. We just check the dust isn't blowing that way as well before we get started. Yeah. <coughs> Well, there you go. As you can see, we have a very unorthodox scaffold at the moment because uh, the heights are different. So we're just trying to figure out a way to get these a bit more leveled up. It's just frustrating. Well, it's not Steve and Alex's job if there's no uh, no obstacles. <laughs> it looks like we've got some tie wire jacket as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. When it's a straight line like that, it's nine times out of ten the tire wires are lifting. When it goes on an angle, it's like it's your, it's your lintel. When it goes flat like that, usually uh, it's usually every five or six courses. Ready? Dragon Rock. That one's Des. And that one's Troy. And together they destroy. <laughs> Quote from Scourge then. There you go. That's doing all the damage. It doesn't help that when they put the lintels in, it, as you can see, it like, went down. So we've got to decide what to do with that. Soldier bricks aren't full bricks, so we can't we can't lay them lengthways. They've got to go back in the soldiers. I'm tempted to go back in on this course, this course here, lift the lintel up and put a big um, 50 mil trim across there. So pack it out with timber, put some insulation above the window, and then put a trim back onto it. And it just gives us a neater job. So that's the good side. Now to the other side. So there you go. That's. Loose, I can't pop it out. Yeah. So, got it. So that's oh, life documentary now. Look at that. So that's what doubled, maybe tripled in width, in depth. Let's see what's left. Yeah. See what's left there. That's that. Six mil of steel. That's the solid bit that's left, and all this is the laminated bit where it's all where it's, it's jacked and just rusted and lifted and lifted and lifted. So there's not much left of the actual lintel. As I say, it's better better nick here. But uh, yeah, the size the bed over the top. It's fine mortar, so it's very porous. And then you've got this. Obviously, again, path of least resistance. So we're going to take out probably to here. So we can't take it all out, obviously, because it's the end of the pipe. We can't knock the whole pipe down. That's had a bit of slate in it with the try to repair it. So when it's lifted, lift it some more. Yeah, some dodgy repairs. Um, what we have to do is leave all, leave all this in, this solid bit here, and we'll just blend it back into the original. So we'll get rid of the bulk of the bow. But, um, yeah. but ma the main thing is it's going to be safe and it's going to be watertight but yeah look at that they're lucky that's obviously that's above there so it could have dropped off that could have dropped on someone's head because I lifted that on my fingers that one well it would have fell on the roof but so that's the uh, that's the damage so we're going to get an acro in here um, here probably under these two here and that'll take it up there and oh yeah when, when it lifts like that doesn't matter what you do with it, that'll never drop back down again. It's lifted and it's staying there. Except to 
remedy that, you'd have to take the whole pipe down. It doesn't need that, it's just a repair job. And this side, we're going to get an acro down there, into a strong boy just above the hopper, and then we'll drill the acro here, probably into this one here, and that'll take us up to the that way we can, we can keep all these, keep this course in, take these soldiers out, take these out, take these out, and then progress from there. So, as you notice, we're um, extension cable free, we're all cordless power tools up here now. So, I just need to drill a phallix, which to get us a hole to start, and then it's onto the saws all to just whoosh, whip across. Because um, that's not going to pull up a fight. And this line motor underneath. We're not going to use lime water to, to repair it, we're just going to use sanitizer cement for this little bit. <clears throat> Here you go, look at that. So, water gets in, your lintel rusts, your lintel lifts. As your lintel lifts, it cracks the brickwork. The more the brickwork cracks, the more water gets in, the faster the, uh, the lintel that rusts. But I say that, these are probably 1950s houses, not doing too bad. But it's just a uh, they're coming to the end of the uh, use by date now. So let's shut up and let's get some work done. Yeah. Yeah, careful doing that. Yeah. Well, if all it takes is a bit of extra weight, it's just going to tip.
As you'll see there, the bricks have all been pistoled to go over the lintel. They're all the same, they the back cut off. Had the length cut down. I thought this ground was used as well, I don't know. And yeah, that's what we've done. Now we need to cut these down even more, so we'll probably cut the pistol bit off. Give a nice clean edge at the bottom over the lintel. So yeah, that's what we're up to. A couple of loose bricks there. Here. These two are looking loose. Hopefully they'll stay where they are. Okay, so that's it. I just need to ask that they're the only two that are going to go just to go. Most of the weights on this acro, which is on the concrete roof. And then the end of the pike is left on the acro that you're set on. So that's just getting all these cleaned up. And I'm going to get this, this piece of crap out. Otherwise no one's ever still left up. Let's get the rest of these out of the sand. Make them go to the You can also see where <coughs> they've put the lintel onto a, a disclosure and then cut the back off the brick so it's just like a slither of a brick been pushed in front of that. So no wonder it's got wet because it's just half the brick. Just cut the brick off and just sat that on a piece of closure and then a little bit of a closure on top. It's a real because it's new technology back then. You don't know what to do with it but it's like a right cobbled together job. So a lot of lintels coming up to this course here. Which gives this gap here a central trim to go over there. So we're gonna trim it up, uh, insulate it, sorry, insulate it, trim glue a trim on and then seal it up once we get this new lintel on and we're going to have shorter soldiers but at least we're going to still have soldiers going in I was thinking of swapping it and just putting stretchy course in but these bricks aren't for the brick so we can't do that so we can't do that but yeah last couple out here and then um, we can get set up for getting this other lintel back in Oh, that's these colored cowboys when people put their nitrils in, in the middle of the brick. Yeah. There you go. As you probably do it, we can get sat on. That's the mortar. Got it over it. And then we've got a thin, thin piece of brick. Stuck on the front. That's why this bit disintegrated. Keeping the water out. Like I say, it kept it out for 70 years, but still not good. Concrete lintel, nice stone lintel. Um, and the insulation's been done, but I don't think we can do the pipes. Okay, this is the pipe. So, we don't insulate our space, which is too hard. But, um, yeah, there we go. That's the end of the lintel. So, 
ahead and hold them. Okay. For the most slow and mental. Look at that, that took in his head box, you can see that. That is unbelievable. Wow. Just took him over. That's the same. I've never seen too much. So it's blown up and it's blown out. So it's blown up and it's blown out. Got a terrible that. I think it was about 10 mil when it started. And it's up to like got a little bit now for 40, 50 mil at that end. So the concrete cancer has been removed. And now this comes out, full brick in, new lintel on it. We're gonna take this brick out and pop it this brick so we can get an upstand on our lintel. Um, uh, definitely that one and we're alright at that end again we're going to get a half in there, there and then we're going to add a little in and then our upstand there, there are, the upstand and then an upstand on the end of the, the, uh, the week that goes so that's it it's open just start tidying this out getting it something like ready for getting it back up again and meanwhile I look like a bit tidied it We, uh, we just had a bit of a scare then. <laughs> I just I just popped the lintel on while Dad was coming up, and I thought that does not look right. Excuse the wind. But um, the the brick the brick the courses the brick courses are out level, and the windows are out level too. So direction. yeah, so it looked like there was like a bloody thirty mil difference in the in the lintel but there's not we've just got to bed this side up a little bit and bed that down that it's side still out because everything's lifted yeah so it's not level it's just uh, just got to wait what you've got like i said we can't be taking the whole pipe down no but um it's not as but not as bad as it looks because we've uh we've realized that obviously the brick 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 courses are out that way the windows are out that way so um I'll just need a four foot level to check, to check this gets close to this one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, the microphones are working. As you can see. So it should be sound a bit better now. Um, it's because it's windy. Right. As Alex just said, he, he, um, I chucked these bricks on before dinner. And then Alex chucked the lintel on after dinner. Um, I didn't check these at the four foot level. So that was high, that was low. It's a massive bed. So it's probably about 20 mil bed that, but that's now level with that. This has been tapped down so it's level with that. And when you put the four foot level on, we've now got it to win within five mil across the width. As you can see, when you lift that, level now so f five mil now it looks worse because as you can see if we go back here as you can see the window is set out of level the other way let me just show you there you 
go. So there is our, our window. So the brickwork's going that way. No, brickwork's going that way. Window's going that way. So they're fighting each other. The trim we've got is a 70 mil. So that should just get a tape measure. So you've got 50 mil there. So 70 mil is going to give us, well, 20 mil coverage, obviously. Same this end. Yeah, it's let that they're only got going to get 10 mil this end. So we're going to use a bit of timber to, to put in here and here. And then we can stick the trim to it and seal around it. Obviously, this, you can see how far back the window's set. Our lintel's going to be coming out here, right forward, which means we need to get a prop under it here. Otherwise, that is just going to bend. So um, we've got a, a piece of 4x1 under these planks there. So we're going to cut that down to length here and get it all propped up. And then once the um, lintel's in, I'm going to get the tray in, which I'll just have to stick on this, unless it'll go up to the... But um, again, look, you're out of courses and you've got the vent there. So it's, it's just a bit of a mess. So it's just got, I think we'll just stick it and put a bead of silicon over the top of it. And uh, before people have a go as for not chasing it in, when you do a modern building and you put the, the plastic cavity trays in, all they do is rest against the internal skin. They're never chased in, they're never fixed in, they just, that's it, they just sit against that inside skin. Because if you think about it, the water isn't going to go down in, through that skin, down the back of it, and then jump across the cavity and run down that wall. It's, I have never seen a wall inside there wet, unless, You've got really shocking tie wires and the water gets through, but you've got to, it's got to be absolutely ringing wet to get through into that skin. So you, you, it goes against that skin, so as it comes down here, it hits the tray and comes out. So it doesn't have to be attached, it doesn't have to be chased into that. It's ideal if you can, but in this case, as you can see, you can't. So we're going to do as we always do and do our best. And then once once this is all on with, there's a few few bits of pointing for Alex to have a go at while I'm finishing up here. So um, let's get on with it. There you go. Uh, sort of around there now. Just need to tuck point that so it's nice and tight. And then we can start pointing that later. That's this side finished. Alex is going to cut all the soldiers down to 165 for me so we can get across there. Obviously in there. This will be cut off after. So that that tray tucks up behind the top tray when it goes to the wall there. So it, it goes to the back of the back. back. It goes up to the inside skin and tucks up underneath it where it goes into the other wall and then we've got this insulation to push it back into place and then it's down over our lintel like that we've got insulation right behind the lintel i'm going to put some more in here before we put the trim on and then we need to put a as you can see it's quite an overhang back with the lintel so we need to get a prop under here that's, that's uh, once i've got this side patched in the ugly end once that's patched in, ready for the soldiers, that's it then. You see we've got our upstand there, 
we've cut the first tray a bit short so we've recut it so that's our first upstand we're gonna have the first second vent in there there's the vents for people who think about them in and then there'll be another one here and then obviously another one where the upstand is there and there's our upstand so this has got two trays in it it's got the original tray and it's got this tray underneath we could we could we could not bother to put this in but if there is any holes in this one above then you know it's in now what's the point of leaving it out over engineer and sleep at night that's the that's the motto so um yeah get this unpatched and then um, crack on Right, what time is it? Uh, about ten past three. Quarter past three. We've still got the soldiers to go in yet. Soldiers and a half. Where everything else is done. I've done all the, the pointing around. These have all been fettled with them, straightened up and packed. So it's all looking a lot better. We've got a uh, that to go over the top. There's our first weep. And there's that bit of patching done and then that bit of pointing. So that's that. We shall have to use a hopper for the ladder. I'll let you just get that bit. That one bed. It's a bit of a mess, don't want to leave it. And then um gonna get these in and then do the trim as well. So um, yeah, there's plenty to do yet. Um so let's just crack on then. Oh yeah, Alex has done all the cuts for me. So we're ready to go.
Well, that certainly looks better than it did this morning. Doesn't look dangerous anymore. But there you go. Another day, another dollar, or another lintel, whatever. <laughs> we got there in the end, eh? It's uh, still, still, still light outside. That's why I'm doing the outro now, in case it, it gets dark by the time we actually finish. But um, yeah, that's just finished off the last bit of points in there. Um, obviously, as you know, new lintel. We put, uh, fixed up some bricks. We brought some new ones. I mean, sorry, we brought some ones from home, which came in handy because. Because of those two that were blown, we, we would have run out. New trim. It turns out they weren't full bricks anyway. No. Obviously, repointed, repointed all the cracks, including that one there, which is probably from tear wear damage. That's uh, a problem they have to look into later. That's, um, that stuff's fallen off all over the place. We've just patched up where I could reach. Yeah. It, 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 the whole thing might need repointing eventually. If it does, then that'll be back. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely. But for now, the window's safe, and hopefully, uh, all the, any damp that was going in there might be at least reduced. It's, it's cured that, there's nothing going in there now. Cavity tray, wheat vents. Cavity trays. Yeah. We didn't disturb the cavity tray, so we've gone put them underneath it, so we've insulated it, which wasn't before. There's no insulation in this bit, so that's been insulated. Oh, usual song and dance. Yeah, I've, I've come up, uh, like I've come up half a course, so I've insulated in that cavity. It's all insulated to behind the lintel. It's quite nice with that trim. Yeah. But okay, before it gets dark, because we've got all the tidying up to do now, so look at all that. I'm what I'm stood on. I've, stood on I've, I've had to take everything out of the van so we can get the scaffold put in the van. I hope you can hear me over that wind. But thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you're always notified. That's a massive help. Any extra support you wish to give to the channel, there's the super thanks under the video or there's the PayPal link in Dad's uh, description. Not necessary by any means. It's just uh, an extra bit of support which is greatly appreciated. Big thanks to everyone who has. Yeah, all the people who have been doing that, we're really appreciative. It's uh, such a massive help for us. But anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Brickley with Steve and Alex with a... Uh, a classic old lintel, and we'll see you in the next one.